Taking action. The family of a Northeast Georgia high school football player killed at a Lawrenceville mall is now filing a lawsuit. The family of Elijah DeWitt is now suing the owner of the mall, saying they were negligent. This all comes as one of the two suspects in the murder case, Chandler Zion Richardson, faced a Gwinnett County judge this morning. 19-year-old Richardson and 18-year-old Kimari Bryan are accused of killing DeWitt. Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose is following both the criminal and the civil cases tonight, as this family hopes change will come out of their loss. That's right. The family's attorney says that there is a substantial history of crime on the property where that fatal shooting took place and why the property did not take reasonable measures to protect its visitors is the heart of their lawsuit. I feel like God has put in me with a tragedy has now come a responsibility. Don DeWitt wants to ensure no family has to endure the pain that she feels, the pain of losing a child. Her 18-year-old son, Elijah DeWitt, was shot and killed during an argument outside a Gwinnett County mall in October of last year. 19-year-old Chandler Zion Richardson and another teenager, 18-year-old Kamari Bryan, are accused of killing DeWitt. Of malice murder. Richardson faced a judge Friday morning pleading not guilty to all four counts, which include murder. But the family tells us the criminal case doesn't go far enough. There's a reason that it doesn't happen, that these crimes don't happen in other places. The family, represented by attorney Michael Rafey, has decided to sue the property where the fatal shooting took place, Sugarloaf Mills Mall in Lawrenceville, for negligence. The suit is filed against the Simon Property Group, which owns the mall, Allied Universal, and Dave and Busters for failing to provide adequate security to keep DeWitt safe. Can there be more cameras? Can there be brighter lights? Can there be more signage saying this is a safe place? If you if you commit a crime here, you will be persecuted. The family insists it's not about the money. It's about change. And they hope this civil suit accomplishes just that. It's about telling people, hey, if you commit a crime, you're going to be on camera and you're going to get caught. These defendants in this criminal case didn't think that. We can't just stand by and watch innocent kids um, be taken from their parents if there's preventative measures to do so. We did reach out to all three entities named in that civil suit, and when we hear back, we will update you. In Gwinnett County, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.